Well, um, yeah, guys, what's up? <clears throat> I'm here for another series. And, well, you know, just saying as how. No, I'm just when the abyss has a sequel, I thought I might as well do that. <clears throat> so, yeah. This is the sequel to Anonymous Notes from the Abyss. Sonic Power Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, the sequel. I have not beaten it. But, <coughs> I've gotten pretty far in it. I'm actually going to erase data. And I'm going to do something that is actually really, really cheap. Basically, what it is is. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to. I was going to use New Game Plus, where you get to carry your data over from the first game, but the Abyss Gate, the Snorris Gate, separates the human. World from the other dimension. The other dimension is said to be filled with tons of monsters that seek to wreck the small part of the country. Wait, this was in the first game, so why am I reading this again? <clears throat> I'm not sure. My throat is kind of, I don't know, bad. <laughs> yeah, another nameless story. I have to make a voice for Rita. Let's see. <coughs> treasure, treasure, treasure. Oh my, here we are. So this is the Abyss Gate. So, uh, how do I get to the dimensional dimension? Hmm, excuse me, is anyone here? <coughs> excuse me, is anyone here? Apparently not. What's all that racket? What do you, what's all that racket? What do you want? Hey, don't talk to me like that. Who are you, miss? Me? I'm the person in charge of this gate here. Really? Just who I was looking for. What are you doing here? Is something troubling you? I I can get to the Dimensional Dungeon from here, but I don't know how. The Dimensional Dungeon? Do you even know what kind of place that is, girl? It's the mysterious world on the other side of the gate. The gate, right? And the Dimensional Gap between the Dungeon and the Abyss Gate is called the Abyss Hall. Inside the Abyss Hall, not only the dimensions, but the flow of time is distorted as well. I see you seem to know your stuff. But now, <coughs> but now, no, I'm just going to do you any good the here inside. So closely. Listen, so listen close to me now. The Dimensional Dungeon is a world full of delicious monsters. Lots of people have already lost their lives in there. What do you want to do in a place like that, huh? I'm going to find some treasure. I mean, it's another world, right? It must be full of brim with all kinds of awesome treasure. Treasure, eh? You'll end up inside of a box to yourself. You'll end up... You'll end up... You'll end up inside a box to yourself if you're not careful. It's not the kind of place a girl like you can just walk into and expect to return alive. You better forget about it. Wait, you've got something to say? I'm not stronger than you look. Than you look, huh? Don't try to be correct, I've learned that right now. Besides, you're a girl too, aren't you? No go? We don't. What is it? Yes. Alright, I'll open the biscuit for you. Oh, really? Thanks a lot, miss. But as soon as things get too hot, get back here and it's suddenly okay. You should know when to retreat. Yes, miss. Sigh. <sighs> Did I do the right thing? Well, you better take this with you. So I'll catch your. What's this? A skill that will allow you to absorb a monster's abilities. You're going to have to figure out how to use it for yourself. Don't put it to waste. Okay, thanks. Leave it to me, miss. Take care now, if you're here. <coughs> how many times did I voice crack there? I don't even... Anyway, so here's the sequel. We start out with the same with Soul Capture. But instead, we're in a caves instead of grasslands and stuff. We're actually uh, faster, too, it seems. We also do a lot of damage, it seems, too. <clears throat> oh, we just got Freezing Lance. Might as well put that on. Now, these are new enemies. Basically, they disappear. Then they come back when they're about to attack. So it's a pretty neat kind of enemy. Kind of like a ghost. That reminds me of... We actually just watched Ghosts, like, a couple hours ago. It was a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's called Ghost. It's on Netflix. <laughs> you, just, you just need to watch it. It's a great movie. It 
is hilarious too. Well, the combat system is pretty much the same. Except our sword seems to be doing a lot more damage than I expect. And it's only a steel sword. So... Yeah, seems like uh, either steel sword's overpowered or I'm tripping. Which, it's probably the second one, since I do trip a lot. <coughs> so I cough and the thing goes tumbling down. <sighs> Now I do find that uh, the boss, oh my god, that the boss is not a minotaur like it was in the first game. It's actually much more difficult. I'm not going to spoil it though, but it's much more difficult. i show you guys that. <laughs> I've been sitting up all night. It's like, what, like 3 in the morning or 2 or something like that. But yes, I've been sitting up all night. I not give her my health, but I really don't care. I'll thank you for killing my ailments. Appreciate it, bruh. Appreciate it. <coughs> I probably do sound really sick right now, but it's just my voice cracking. <coughs> and my snuffling. No big, no big deal, guys. To make a big deal out of snuffling and stuff. It's just snuffling. I'm not gonna die or anything unless my character suddenly stops moving. And I just like go silent all of a sudden, but where are the odds of me dying right in the middle of a commentary? Okay, I'm joking, that's not even funny, I shouldn't do that. Okay, uh, The show must go on. Although I'm killing things with the awesome sword and yeah of course why does this always happen to me like i have not been right <laughs> i got the worst luck when it comes to getting these spirits she also sounds different of course i get poisoned again and i get double poisoned i got typhoon where that is oh arrows Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I can't do the voices now. <laughs> Although I will get better at the voices. Uh, like, I have to make a new voice for Rita. Because I was using the same voice for Helen and Rita. So we're going to have to make a different voice for each of them. Next episode, but I'm just kind of not feeling the greatest condition right now, so... We're just gonna finish up this abyss one, and I'll, you know, be good, and probably gonna sleep like an angel. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So there's the abyss one. It was pretty simple. Pretty simple. Just looking for treasure all over the world. My name is. Huh? Is this the entrance? What was that? That song. Oh hi, miss. That song is my theme song. So this is the entrance, right? How did I end up here again? Look, it <coughs> looks like you entered the Abyss Hall deep inside the dungeon. Some of the Abyss Halls inside the dungeon are connected to the Abyss Gate. Oh, really? So if I keep running around the dungeon, I might actually end up here again? In a nutshell, yes. You need to be able to use the Abyss Gate to get back. We well, lost the dungeon as well. Roger. Oh, and that's like, I've got to tell you, but you can use the storage room here. You can store any rare items and excess equipment here when you get back. If that must, if the monsters beat you, they'll take everything away. Then yeah, what? Really? I'll take care of your stuffs for you. So don't. So just give me a holler. Thanks, miss. Oh, I need ask for your name. I keep calling you, miss. Now can I? I guess you're right. My name's Helen. Helen. That's a wonderful name. You think so? My name is so childish. Don't be ridiculous. Three is a perfectly fine name. Very cute. <laughs> you think so? Thanks, miss Helen. Miss Helen, but you said. Great, now let's go find some treasure. Take it easy. Which is what I am going to about to do. So, hope you enjoyed this episode <coughs> of me, bad voices, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And I'm so from the Muffin. <laughs>